everybody, Tanya here. Uh, a little update. I had a dentist appointment with my prosthodontist yesterday, and he did the adjustments on my lower partial and then my upper full. Um, he smoothed out, trimmed, uh, put some softer things right up here and right back here. And then he uh, uh, filed away, smoothed down, whatever, some things on my lower that were giving me some major issues. Um, so he wanted me to come back today to uh, see how those were, were working. Um, my swelling's gone out a little bit, little bit more. Uh, the bruise, pretty much gone. Um, so a little bit of swelling, a little bit, but the, with the adjustments that he made, I can do that and open my mouth better. Um, it's still a little bit sore. I don't know if it's because it's still too much up there and need to take more away or um, just from three and a half, four days of it, you know, being too much and, and irritating. It's just take a, another day or two for the uh, swelling and soreness to go away. Again, I don't know. Um, when I went in today, he asked if I, he, he said he could take away more and adjust it more. Um, but I told him just to wait. Um, Give it a couple days. I'm supposed to see him again a week from today, same time. Um, so it'll be next Tuesday at one o'clock, and I'll let him know then. He'll check the bite and the prosthesis and and make sure I'm healing and all that good stuff. Um, and then if I still have issues, then he'll make adjustments as long as it doesn't um, take away from the integrity or the stability of uh, the prosthesis. Um, but he said if, if I can't wait till two, if I have issues that pop up in the morning or, or the weekend or whatever the case may be, then to come straight to his office and, uh, and he'll fix them immediately. So, um, yeah, he's, I love my dentist. He's, he's just good as a human and staff. I just, I'm blessed to have such good, um, and attentive doctors working on me. So it's good. Um. What else did I do today? I went to the PX, did some shopping, um, bought my daughter's birthday present. Uh, so she, her birthday's next month, and what I wanted, to, what she wanted, was on sale. So I went ahead and got that. She wanted a mini fridge, the dorm size fridge, one of those four foot tall fridge things with the freezer. She thinks she's a big girl. She has one. So her brother has one. I got him one a couple years ago. And he's taking taking it with him to college, and she thought she was going to get it, but turns out he decided to take it with him. So um, I bought her one, and it was on sale. So I went and purchased it for her. So I did that. I went and had lunch at the Ocean Breeze, um, where my son works. I saw him, and then I uh, and came home. So yeah, it's been a pretty good day. Uh, speech is better, as you can tell. I'm speaking a lot better. My S's are still, still, I still sound like a snake. Um, <laughs> my S's, but the THs uh, are are better. Um, I, I don't have like whenever I, I was, you have to sign in at Naval Dental under my sponsor, which is my husband, his last four, and they were having a hard time understanding me because. Uh, of one of the numbers in my husband's last four is a six, and it's like what? I said six, and that, man, I'm I'm so sorry. I don't mean to. Could you repeat that one time? I and I just held up six fingers, and I said, oh, okay, six. I said I'm sorry. I'm I'm so getting used. Is it no, ma'am? No problem, ma'am. I'm so sorry, but um, yeah, you're good. But uh, yes, the S's are still an issue. So again, it's been five days. You know, I, I've got plenty of time to get used to. You know, saying S's. Um, what else? Uh, so I had a pretty relaxing day. Like I said, I did some shopping. Got some things that I have had my eye on. And some things I didn't have my eye on. But, you know, that's how to get it anyways. Um, we're moving soon. We're moving in about three months. We're leaving the island in about three months. So, and my husband's getting out of the Marine Corps. So, uh, I've already surveyed the house. And I remember what we have in storage. I know what we have here. So... I'm trying to think about how I'm going to decorate because we're wanting to buy a house when we get out. The things I want to decorate with. So I'm kind of buying a little bit here and there so I can kind of have the house, everything purchased, 
except for you know major furniture items that I want um, to replace. But other than just decorating the things, you know, I'm buying it little bit by little bit so it doesn't come out of the, our pocket all at once. But um, yeah, I'm redecorating my house. So I don't have it. So <laughs> my husband doesn't even know. Um, I'm keeping everything in our storage room in the house and. Just He'll know soon when there's no more shelves or floor space for him to put his gear on, and he'll be like, what the heck is this stuff? And I have to tell him that I've bought a few hundred dollars worth of stuff that he had no idea. But um, anyways, uh, so happy with everything. Um, since he did the adjustments, like I said, it's still a little bit sore. Not not on this side at all. It fixed that. Um, but right here, it's, but it could be from four days of, you know, messing me up. But it's a little sore. Um, I should know some more, you know, on like Friday. I'm thinking, hoping that all the soreness will and the swelling will completely be gone. And there's any left over. And, he, and I, he told me this. If there's any left over, any kind of soreness or swelling by like Thursday or Friday, then that's because I've still got issues with this going back or protruding too much this way or something. And he'll take care of it. Um, if I want to have it taken care of before my appointment on Tuesday, then... He said he'll do so. Not a big deal. Um, he's been so nice. I don't, I'm not going to call him in on his day off or anything. I'm just going to wait. Suck it up until Tuesday. But um, anyway, so far so good. Um, no issues. Uh, still, I've never had any issues with the surgical site underneath the denture. Um, it's still a, not an issue. The only problem I was having with was sore spots on the inside of my cheeks or my tongue or soft tissues you know inside but not underneath so that's excellent that was the what i thought i was gonna have issues with was mainly that but not 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 a one so um so that's good uh anything else uh, smiling more um i've not I, i've I, I forget that it's there i forget that you know, it's funny because I thought I was having a really hard time smiling because I was self-conscious of all this or I'd have to it'd take a long time to reteach myself that it's okay to show your teeth because you have nice ones now. Um, but it's kind of come naturally. It's funny. Um, the first couple of days were fine because I was so swollen, so swollen. But um, as everything's, you know, going down and the swelling's going down and my speech is getting better, it's just kind of come naturally to, to smile. Uh, um, I'm wearing my lipstick a little bolder. You know, I'm actually drawing attention purposefully to my mouth, which I never, ever did that because I was so subconscious about it. I would always do my eyes or, you know, do my hair a certain way or, you know, uh, earrings. But I really didn't want to draw attention to myself at all. I always wanted to be kind of in the shadows, blend in, not be seen at all. But, you know... If I knew that I was going to be, you know, interacting with certain people, then I would maybe do my eyes. So, we'll concentrate up here, you know, not so much down here. Um, but I'm not so worried about my eyes. I mean, I've got big brown eyes and, you know, no big deal. But um, I'm wearing my lipstick a little bit bolder now, you know. It's not crazy, of course. But uh, it's, I'm feeling in my lips more, you know. Um... I haven't bought any crazy lipsticks. Oh, although I thought about today when I was at the house. I was like, ooh, I got that bright red <laughs> over there. I wonder how it look on me. Or, uh, you know, the, the hot pink or something. But, um, yeah, I just, I, I got distracted and I didn't, maybe later. I don't know. But, yeah, I may, I may experiment with lipstick in the future. Who knows? Um, yeah, still everything is fine. Um, again, uh, I, I, I hope I'm not um, one of the few who've had such a good turnout with this thus far. I hope everybody else is having pretty good results, and I hope everybody else has uh, attentive and um, uh, patient-driven, you know, uh, dentists and doctors on their side. Uh, I've been fortunate. I, I didn't expect anything less, but I've gotten way more than I expected. Um, which is, like, God is good, I'm blessed. That's all I can say. Um, but, you know, so far so good. I can't, you know, again, I'll just lose that next 
10 or 15 pounds and I'll feel a lot better about everything. Uh, I'm not really one, don't get me wrong, I'm not one for looks so much, but everybody wants to feel good about themselves, you know. I don't think that I have to, you know, be perfect. Uh, I don't want to be plastic or perfect or, you know, let me just put it this way. I'm not the person who has to have the brand new Michael Kors or Coach handbag every time it comes out every season and pay $400 for it. I don't, I'm not that. Um, I have better things to spend my money on. Uh, but it's always nice to look, to look nice, you know, to have a good uh, self-esteem and, and good outlook about yourself. Um, so uh, my smile and losing a couple of pounds, which I, you know, I could stand to lose. It's not for health reasons, but you know, most women have that 10 pounds they want to lose and I want to lose it now. So that's just what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, after that, I'll, I'll be good to go. Yeah, um, I'm 40. I, I wear it well emotionally. I'm not, I'm not like, oh, 40 over the hill. I'm halfway there. I'm just, I'm getting old. No, no, no. I'm not that. Um, I look on the other side. I'm, I'm 40. I, I have made some major mistakes in my life. Um, but I've learned from them. Maybe not the first time, but I've learned from them. Um, I know what I want. I know what I'm, what I'm willing to do, what I'm not willing to do to get there. Um, and I'm not going to take any excuses. I don't take no for an answer anymore. Um, I fight. I know my self-worth. Big thing. I turn 40. Um, self-worth just kind of kicks in, you know. Uh, at least for, for me it did. Um, and I don't care about people's opinions as much as I used to. At all. I could care less. Again, unless you're paying my bills or in charge of my kids, I don't care about your opinion about me at all whatsoever. Um, I'd like for people to have decent opinions about me, or at least fair opinion about me and my character. They have a pr pretty decent character. I'm a good person. Um, but, you know, their opinion is like, you know, butt's too big or, you know, whatever, you know. Where she you know, sounds like she's a hick because she's, you know, talks with a southern slang. I don't care. I'm from North Carolina. I'm, my family, part, my, one side of my family, there were mountain people. So, you know, I, I don't care. Um, I've got a southern, southern draw and I'm happy with it. it gives me character. So, um, anyways. Teeth, teeth are fine. Everything's moving along, you know, just, just like they should. Um, self esteem, getting up there. Um, I'm happy about that. I'm really, I thought it would take longer, but it's, it's actually getting a lot better. Um, my happy, my family's happy for me. I'm happy for me. Uh, my dentists are happy for me. In fact, it was funny. Um, I was at my dentist point. Oh, let me adjust this. My hands get tired. All right. So I was at my dentist point with my prosthodontist today and, um, he was looking at everything, you know, had me open and, you know, smile and, um, as he was putting his gloves on, getting his instruments out, his, uh, mirror to look around, um, I got out my phone and showed him my Facebook profile pic. I changed it yesterday. I took a picture of myself yesterday. Nice smile. Big smile. And, uh, I made a new profile pic. I have never, not since I've been on Facebook, since Facebook, since like 2008, 2009, one of those times, I think 2009, since 2008, 2009. When I made a Facebook account, I've never had a smile on my profile pic. It's always been, you know, my kids or me with a side pic or me smiling like that or something. So I made a new profile pic and I put it on there. And I got, I don't know, 50 some likes from my family and friends. And that was just like within four hours. Um, and tons of comments, positive comments. And uh, I showed them the pic and, uh, he said, oh, that's so nice. He said, he said, what was it for? I said, me kissing a dolphin. He's like, what? Talking about the time that we went to the aquarium and um, the dolphin was on one side of the glass in the water and I was on the other side of the glass and it had come up to me and I looked like I was kissing like that. My son took a picture so it looked like I was kissing a dolphin. Uh, it was a side view. Again, no smile. But uh, he said, that's a really good picture. I said, yeah, everybody thinks. I said, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm showing it off, you know, and he's, he's happy that I'm happy my, my dentist is, so that's good. It, yeah. Um, 
but nothing as far as no big changes, no disappointments, no things that have gone wrong. Um, nothing. It's all been pretty much uphill except for the minor things. But they were fixed quickly. You know, I, now I'm filming nothing. Since she's fixed the bottom lower, it's no issues at all. And I kept it in all night last night and um, all day today. So no issues down here. So no rubbing. He, he's, he fixed it. Um, and I know a couple of days that this is a, a permanent fix. If not, then he can adjust it when I come in on Tuesday. Um, he said before if I needed it, but I'm not going to make him do that just because he's been so good with me uh, thus far. So, um, anyways, nothing. I have nothing bad or excellent to share except for it's I'm improving every day. So, that's good. Uh, I hope everybody else is having the same same issues. I mean, good, good issues. Um, uh, again, if you're if you can ask me questions about what I've had done, um, unless you get too technical, uh, I can answer them. I was in the you know a dentistry field assisting. I've done, done endodontics, endodontics, which is root canals. I've done general dentistry. And then I've done surgical dentistry for a few years. So I know a little bit, um, but as far as making prosthesis, fixing prosthesis, uh, dentures, um, all I can tell you is what I know from the small chair side dentistry background that I have and my experience for the past five days or whenever you're catching these videos. Because I'll make more of them as time goes on. Um, and I'll do my best to, to, to help you with you know, whatever questions or concerns you have. Um, and if I can't help you, if I think you need to go somewhere else for, you know, to get an answer, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, again, I'll, I'll try to help everybody that I can, but I, I don't know everything, of course. Um, I'm not a dentist. I'm not a pro at, at this. It's only been five days. I've had a good experience. So if you have, like, major issues you're, you're trying to find answers for, I may not be able to help you because I haven't had any bad experiences, you know. No big bleedings, no sutures coming out, no really bad, not big issues. Um, but again, I'll I'll do my best to help. Uh, and again, I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, it's my second day off. I go back to work tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, anyways, have a good day, and I will talk to you later. All right? Ciao, toodles, and simplify.